Geralt, thanks for everything. Sir, boy, we're up to our noses in frights and horrors. Imps, Samovillas, mammoons, flying drakes, pikes, oh, and bats. Got, eh? Not one of the barons, man, are you? Or lifeless. Move it. I can't seem to catch my breath. I think a smudger might have been choking me last night. A smudger? A ghost, you mean? Too much hooch. That's why I'm choking you. <laughs> Greetings. Yeah? Heard you have a problem. A monster you call a shrieker. Aye. Prowls about, it does. Snatches cows and goats, mostly, but it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well, he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm-hmm. Took a hatchet. Laid an ambush for the Shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Guts stretched o'er the crown of a tree like gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put them in a grave. I know times are tough, but I'll need you to cough up a bit more coin. You seek a lot. A few crowns too dear. You seek a lot. A few crowns too dear. I suppose I can add that. Ye are risking your neck for us. High time a professional took a look at this Shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But you might find the lad art to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At me homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago.
talk. Let me be. Calm down, I just wanna... Go, I said. I want to avenge your father, but to do that I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster. But huge. With a lizard's tail. I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Ran to see what you were on about. There were Dad, in the bushes. A hole through his belly. Then he were moaning, screaming. I wanted to help, but how could I? How? Shush now, calm. 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 Take care, kid. If a man deploys a pack of solemnoids, he'll be devoured by a wood. Come on, Roach. A boiled dragon with seven heads and ten horns. A truth. Tracks are irregular here. Monster must have started staggering. Was wounded, most likely. Muzzles caked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Blood. Monster blood. lead to the cave. A cockatrice.
Sounds coming from above. Smoke it out, though. Damn it. It's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Got to nab it before it gets away. this time. about to leave. Bomb should smoke it out though. Damn it, it's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Gotta nab it before it gets away.
There it is. Won't get away this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go. Go, go. Get up. Quite the work my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Brought him a bucket of helians yesterday, the feast we had. Greetings. Yeah? Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank ye, Master Witcher. Your reward taint much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Thank you. Any problems in the future, you keep me in mind. Not looking good, I tell you. Filling Ooh. your coin. What was that about? Searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Need a swift kick in the arse? Not so fast, Roach. <laughs> Quite the work my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Brought him a bucket of peelings yesterday, the feast we had. He's not Greetings. Shrieker one. Thank you. Keep the coin. You took in an orphan. Need it more than I do. And they call witches unfeeling. Inhuman. Well, I thank ye. From the bottom of my heart. Sir, we were up to our noses in frights and horrors. Imps, some of them. Your father's been avenged. Thought you might want to know. I killed the Shrieker. Thank you, Master Witcher. Mm. Witcher, tis as though the heavens sent ye.
Maybe I should send me man to the creek. Might catch something. See, you're a man well traveled, so tell me. Say what you will. Daddy says you killed the beast that was eaten, folk. Come on, Roach. Cater, buried her in the woods, or it were one of his bandits. Hey there. Faster. The rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison, or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage, says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of ma witch hunt. Changing the subject. Any news of your sisters? None. We can't know too much about. Even. Tr mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Vserad, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. 
Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some ball with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyer once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the Elves used them. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a Megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Hmm? Thank you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? 
Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded, as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. See you, Kira. Just when I was starting to miss you. Bet the old witch who lived. She didn't. Very much so. See you, Kira. Geralt, just Bet the she did indeed very much. See you, Kira. Geralt, just... Be she very much... See you, Kira.
is it? Where are you? Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful.
Are you on the aisle yet? Does the Xenovox work? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear. Great broke already. Short lived this magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful. Not bad.
peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Let's try Kira's lamp. Place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on. Look, Geralt, stop. You needn't be so detailed. Blood. Many must have died here. Where's that noble? Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. There's nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should we made to suffer? He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! Rich folk. Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants. They're through the door in the tower. dead any good now, will it? Stranger is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you?
are you? Have you got to the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Someone dragged something across the floor. Moore dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell? What it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumours, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did 
did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me, like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. Who could love a wraith? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, Forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him, he must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine, I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please.
Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. in there until the end. What a shitty way to die.
Why have you been following me? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the Isle. Talks to no soul. Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. I want to talk. You deaf damn it! I told you. Who are you? I'm a Witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They force you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! Twas then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I... don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? But... It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are... her bones? Yes. Give them here. And leave me be. Annabelle was no ordinary ghost. It is a pesta. A 
And now she's free. A girl in plated flowers. Looks like a small shrine. Come on, Roach. Yeah. The old god demanded six sucklings. You didn't bring but a single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. What are you doing here? What? This sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the All God, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, then cursed the old village. The All God, you call him. First I've heard. Is some new deity? Nay, tis ancient, revered by our forefathers. They say it were like this. Roslav of Oriton came here to gather brushwood, and suddenly. For no reason, a bush burst into flame. Then, Roslav heard a voice from the ground, demanding offerings and obedience. We've been coming here since then, bearing gifts, in exchange for which the All God watches over us, keeps us from evil. Mm hmm. Plain to see that. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mock us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. But what can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and locusts or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this All God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, you have to stand afore the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. Oh, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. 
How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought. Driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? Huh. How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Hmm. Wine. Or more like vinegar. Someone drank it anyway. Hmm. Could follow the same here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected the all got to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be... corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curds and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Been in this hole long? For a century or so. One winter I found shelter here. Built a fire so large the flames leapt through the crack. Lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke. And suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus, I became a god. Parasite, more like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and Melitale, then, hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, giving naught in return? I talk, at least. Listen here, Lord Ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the Ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. Just till the end of the war, not one day longer. Anything new? Talk to your old god, face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you! I told you the old god's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? Might want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating.
Come on, Roach. Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice? You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Stop. A word with you. 